Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm cold, so I'm going to review tonight's movie wrapped in a blanket. Um, do you like my wall of the giant, of, what is it? Oh, Revenge of the Giant Face wall. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've made it so you can see all four posters. Anyways, uh, tonight I watched my 65th Joan Crawford film. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I have seen 65 Joan Crawford films. I actually really love Joan Crawford. She's amazing. Um, I think I've seen all of her films from the 30s, actually. Every single one. Yes. So this one was Torch Song. This was her first film in Technicolor and her first film back at MGM in almost a decade. Like the entire 40s, practically, she was not at MGM. Um, it's one of those, like, rich artists having issues, Louise, and kind of, like, for Joan Crawford fans only kind of thing. Like, if you love Joan Crawford, you're watching for Joan Crawford. If you don't love Joan Crawford, just skip it. Um, she's great, but they're, like, kind of cruel and awful about the guy who's blind in it. And then there's this scene where, like, I knew that Joan Crawford was in blackface. But, like, all of the extras in the scene are also in blackface. So it's, like, 40 people in blackface for, like, five minutes. It's, it's awful. And it made no sense, like, why they needed to do that. And what? I thought that was a good idea. Like, it's the 50s at this point. Like, you would think you'd know a little better, but apparently not. So, yeah, I would just, unless... You're a Joan Crawford completist like me. I would not bother with this movie. Um, it did have a really beautiful rendition of Tenderly, though, which um, is made famous by Nat King Cole that I quite loved. Um, and Gig Young is, like, this drunk dude that pops up throughout the movie, and he's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And Michael uh, Wind Winding, Winding, who is... Uh, Elizabeth Taylor's second husband he has a really great voice so that was fun but um and I mean Joan's great like she, she sings she dances she's got legs for days she's you know if you love Joan Crawford and what Joan Crawford does it's one of her best Joan Crawford performances um and I don't know I don't know why everyone doesn't like Joan Crawford with the red hair like she has in this and the best of everything I think she looks fine with the red hair like whatever I think she was actually, like, a redhead. I know she was really freckled, so she probably was a redhead. So, I don't know. Whatever, guys. Joe Crawford's queen. That's how I'm going to end this. Joe Crawford is the queen. 